Hi everybody, it's still September 16, 2018. I need to bring your attention to Dabu's video that he just posted. Look at these frequencies on the Mimic map. Wow. Well, we are in war and they are using frequencies. And look at this huge generated frequency that pulses through the Pacific and we know that the Philippines were just hit with a typhoon and it's on its way to China. Well, weather used as a weapon. Couldn't be more obvious, especially when you see on these sites, these frequencies. Okay? Wow. So, um, I will link below to Dabu's video. I just want you to see it coming across. Boom. Okay. That is very intense. Um, one more time. Yeah. This is the mimic map now uh, in the Atlantic. And let me just see if it's... Uh, if these frequencies, yes, they are. Wow. All right. Can you see them? Boom. All right. Well, they sure are disrupting the natural processes of Mother Earth. That is for sure. Um, let me see if I can get another West Pacific. Let's go to West Pacific. Yeah. My God. We're in trouble, guys. Oh, boy. Look at this. Look at the generation of that pulse. Boom. Now, can I tell you exactly what's going to be happening <clears throat> with the use of these frequencies? No. Nobody can, except for those who are in the know. And we're not in the know, so we can speculate all day long. But speculate on the uh, danger side of the scale. This portends destruction. This is intense. I have never seen the Mimic map quite like it, but these frequencies that are being generated right across, right smack into this typhoon going into China. Boom. And let me just see one thing. I can't tell if it is changing direction of this typhoon. But I can tell you that I believe <clears throat> that they're changing the direction of Helene that is on its way to the UK, hitting Ireland first. So I want to get a close-up shot, North Atlantic. Here we go. This is Helene. Helene is hit with a frequency. Right there, boom, the pulse, and Helene changes course to go right into the UK. And the UK, this is uh, Spain, Portugal, uh, France, Germany. The UK is up here. They're changing the course, the track of Helene, this storm, to swing it right into the UK. And as you can see, these frequencies that are being set off throughout the Atlantic. These frequencies right here, all of these half circles developing. Not good, guys. And this huge pulse right here in the mid middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Wow. Alrighty. 
uh, in telecast. Now I have two two um, two questions. Did I see in a comment someone link below to seven tropical storms in the Atlantic? Because I don't see any. I do see a lot of manufactured cloud substance. Um, what happened to tropical storm? Paul and Isaac that was going to be developing into a hurricane or maybe it did develop into a category one. Where are they? Is this is this Paul that they were going to be swinging into the Gulf? Well this is manufactured by men. Now you can see all of the grid patterns just get on up close and look at that. It is a grid pattern. Let's stop it and let's walk y'all through. Oh boy. Geoengineering. Right here. All of the lines going in, uh, up and down, across, north, west, whatever, north, south, west, east. All of the lines man creating cloud. Mother Nature does not work in fine defined lines. Cloud generation right before your eyes. Wow. Severed at the bottom. All of these poofs are uh, manufactured cloud and while it's interesting to know exactly how they do this, that's not important. The, the important piece here is that they do it. They do it. I don't know if this, if they plan on making this into a tropical storm, but what happened to Isaac and Paul? And, and well, Helene is on its way to the UK which Helene, you had weird tracking. Whoa. Um, not entirely sure what this is. Uh, I guess maybe they thought uh, something, they would create something. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, when man is creating all of this, um, you know, the man and the women, when I say man, I just mean the human being, but <clears throat> how do they report? You know, when they have these failures, when they have these goof ups, when they have what is this? Was that part of Helene? Joyce. Oh, there's a tropical depression here. Really? All right. Uh where? Is this it? Oh my god. Houston? We have a problem. We've got to get our tracking right. We've got to make our clouds look a little bit more natural, please. But Helene, right into the UK. Yep, that frequency burst on Mimic. Got it swirling right on up to you guys. I pray that all of you in Ireland Scotland, England, don't have to suffer. Consequences of weather being used as a weapon. So I guess this, this, these, I, I don't know what, I, what, what, how do you, what do you say to all of this? You know, obvious, but the TV tells me that these are natural. Meteorologists would say things, Carol. I mean, they see what you say, so how come they're not saying anything? Do you not know how many people lie for a living? Um, so I don't, you know, I whoever, did, maybe I just saw a video um, that had the title, Seven Storms in the Atlantic. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Generation of Clouds, Louisiana. And Houston. Right here. Get them on up. Yep. 
And Houston, you got some of your own. Well, you did a few minutes ago. Um, you can see all of the frequencies. You can see the <laughs> the perfect holes in the cloud substance shot with frequencies right here. You can see the frequencies going through this. They they can use the frequencies to create the cloud. Oh. So do we have some uh, massive flooding in the San Antonio area? Sorry, I can't research everything. Um, but yes, you can see the all of the ripples in the cloud that that's you know caused by microwaves. All right. Um, no longer is she being tracked. We don't have any track map on it. So the last tracking of Florence that I saw was going through um, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, New York, Long Island, Connecticut, and right out to the Atlantic radar. So I just heard from a subscriber who told me Statesville uh, somebody sent her husband pictures, and Statesville is north of Charlotte. Well, the pictures, there were, there were floods in Statesville. And I'm not surprised, because I've been watching this um, a lot this afternoon. And I was happy to see that it was now kind of off um, Willing Wilmington, but it was still looking like a whole lot of flooding may be happening in central and western North Carolina. So please let me hear from you guys. How are you? doing. How are you in Calabash? Um, you can see the frequencies right here. Look at this harp next right ring. That's from the radar station. Um, but the frequencies are kind of like forcing the storm now to hang on the coast and go north. But these are the signatures of the frequencies being used. Let me show you that next red harp ring. Right there. Here we go. High frequency heating. Extremely low frequencies. The high frequency heating modulated with the extremely low frequencies and they can create an awful lot of damage. Earthquakes, cyclones, hurricanes. Uh, steer the jet stream. That was another thing that I wanted to show you on satellite, but you're just going to have to take my word for it because I don't want this to go on forever. Look at all of the extreme frequencies right here. Tennessee coming out of the Morristown area and I have never seen you see all the extremely low frequencies, all of the very defined faded lines going through the precipitation. Okay, well you have the extremely low frequencies coming out in a fan-like direction towards Kentucky. You have a sustained frequency uh, ripping through the precipitation, but you've got this line which I just have never seen before. And let me bring you back to it right here. 
These are frequencies crossing with the extremely low frequency. And when frequencies cross, that, uh, that's not a very good thing. Um, how are you guys doing in Virginia? Oh, West Virginia, and my God, I just so am sorry that you're going to be getting more rain in Pennsylvania. But Virginia, you got Western North Carolina, Ohio. All, all of you have had repeated flash flooding this year, brought to you deliberately by the weather makers. So I would like to hear from you guys again. How are you doing? The whole thing manufactured, obvious, very clear, uh, interesting. <laughs> Charlotte Observer writes that hundreds of thousands remain in danger. Um, flooding. I've heard from subscribers, one who is in Charlotte and others who know people in Charlotte, and they said everything was fine. So please, you guys, if you know people in Charlotte, or if you are in Charlotte, what's happening in Charlotte? And look at this vehicle being displayed. And even, well, it's propped up on YouTube, Hor Hori, Hori County, the Myrtle Beach area. Are you kidding? Have our local police been militarized? I would say so. Yes. This is the Hori County um, vehicle that no doubt they got from the Department of Homeland Security or an auction, uh, a military auction, selling military vehicles to local law enforcement for, uh, on the cheap, boy, because we have to militarize our police. So the flooding was not that bad in Horry County, uh, North Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. Heard, you know, pockets of people were without electricity. Um, so they bring out this vehicle because they've got to what? Rescue people in Horry County with that? With that? They've got kids coming out of the vehicle. Yes, get every American conditioned to our police looking like it's military. God, can't stand it. Um, but what's happening in Myrtle Beach, It, based on what I've seen, it has not been that bad. Um, but you had curfews? All, there's so many places that have had to go home at a certain hour. City of Conway in Horry County had four consecutive nights of curfew. And that curfew ended this evening. Uh, Conway's curfew was in effect from 7 Sunday until 7 a.m. Monday. Okay, so that's 7 a.m. Monday. It'll be lifted. Uh, city of North Myrtle Beach rescinded ongoing curfews on Sunday that had been in effect since Thursday, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, and yet the hurricane, well, the supposed hurricane was not that bad. So let me just show you. Yeah, we do have frequencies. Now, you saw that the uh, generation of cloud. Louisiana and you got the fanned out elect, uh, extremely low frequencies pretty intense coming out of Louisiana and you've got this laser beam shot out from the Galveston area shooting right on through Houston you got the extremely low frequencies. Um, that is, well, obvious, quite obvious. Yes, they use these frequencies for weather. And you still have all of the frequencies at work. Here's the frequency that's close by me, Greer, South Carolina, helping to steer the storm. And 
you also had a pretty intense frequency coming out of um, see Western North Carolina. Okay. Well, I'll leave the site link below. And if you want, you can come over here. But look at these frequencies coming out of uh, the Morristown area in Tennessee. So how are you guys doing in Kentucky, in Tennessee, Central, Western, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia? Oh boy. I really hope everybody is okay. All of the links are below. Ciao, guys.